I think I just have to go for it. Uh, I just have to go for it. It was, it was taking so long just then. I was like, wait, did I do something wrong? Um, I'm just going to hope and pray for a knockout here. Please be enough. Yeah, baby. Hey, yes again YouTube, this is Silver Bean here, bringing you guys week four of the UBL season three. Your Crystal Palisans are here once again to take on a brand new opponent. This week, we are up against new coach, Dial It Tight. Dial It Tight is here, coach of the new Britain Rock Ruffs, and they have uh, taken over, in fact, of the team from Irish Emerald. Uh, Irish Emerald, who is uh, coach of the... Wexford Waylords. Uh, they sadly had to drop out of the league. For, um, we wish them all the best. Um, but uh, we've got a brand new player. This is his second week, I believe. I believe he's played week, week three. Uh, he played week three against the Baltimore Oracorios. And he actually won, I believe, a 4-0. Um, so we've got a very tough opponent. Um, they are currently 2-1. and one, Same score as us. Uh, if you missed last week's battle, spoilers ahead. But we did pick up a W. Definitely make sure you go check it out. It was an insane, insane, insane match. Literally down to the very last turn it came down to. Uh, so make sure you go check it out. Link will be up in the tag. Uh, and you can also find it in the description below. But uh, let me know your thoughts as well on the question of the day. That's going to be chilling over here. Which new uh, type combination would you like to see in, uh, in Generation 8? We've already, we know Dark and Fairy is coming with Impidimp. What other new ones would you like to see? Let me know down below. Um, but we're going to break down my opponent's team. Then we're going to sort of break down my team. And then we're going to get into the battle. I hope you guys are ready. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Because it's going to be a good time. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, my opponent's team. And that is not what you want to see. But let's start that again. Uh, oh, crikey. That's just all kinds of kerfuffles. Um, so... My uh, my opponent's team is when I can actually have it on my screen. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Excellent, brilliant live skills just there. So my opponents, they have a Landorus Therion, which is also their only Z user. They've got a Latios, uh, they got a Bisharp, a Decidui, a Jolteon, a Primarina, a Salazzle, <clears throat> a Mega Pinsa, a Gigalith, a Stoutland, and a Duosion. So they've got a very sand heavy team by the looks of it. Um, and they've got a lot of speed. Uh, not too much bulk, I mean, to an extent, minus like maybe the, um, like maybe the Primarina. I guess the Gigalith on the physical side. And then I suppose maybe the Latios could be a bit bulky, maybe Decidueye as well. And you got the Duosion, which could just be tricky. Uh, so overall, that's their team. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous. Um, mainly bad down to that by shot. You know, they've got the Jolteon, which is maxes out base 130. That's their fastest mod on the field, minus obviously any Scarfers. Uh, Mega Pinsa is quite scary, but I'm not too worried about Mega Pinsa as a whole. So because I have feeling they might not even bring it. But we'll see. We shall, uh, we shall see. So let's break down our team. So up first. We're bringing the main man. We are bringing Grilled Spice here. Once again, rocking that choice scarf. It's too good not to bring. Outspeeds everything on his team. We also get naturally outspeed Landorus. So I've actually speed tired. Uh, we've actually just sort of sped crept uh, the Landorus. So if the Landorus ends up being scarfed as well, we will still outspeed it. Uh, otherwise, we outspeed everything else on the field. Uh, I think the only thing that can also outspeed us would be the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Jolteon. I think that's the, the Jolteon. The Jolteon and the Ladios are the only other two things that can outspeed. Well, and then Slazzle if they're scarfed, but I very much doubt that they will be. Um, but we've got Flare Blitz, Earthquake U turn. Rock Slide is mainly for the Pinsir, but then we can use Flare Blitz. But Rock Slide is just a safer option if I don't want to use Flare Blitz in case, like, an incoming. I don't know. I mean, what doesn't take a Flare Blitz? So we got that going for us. Um, Manetric's coming back once again. Uh, I'll make a Manetric, um, our main man. Uh, Lightning Rod, obviously it's standard ability, then Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Flamethrower, Hidden Power, Ice. Hidden Power, Ice literally hits like four members of his team between the Lando, the Latios, the Decidueye, and the uh, Pinsir. Thunderbolt obviously hits pretty much all of those things as well. We're just going to be careful about the Jolteon. 
Um, but Hidden Power Eyes does pretty much, depending on how especially bulky, but Hidden Power Eyes does pretty much one-shot the uh, Landorus, which is really, really nice to know. And then we've got Flamethrower just kind of as a pivot as well. We can also handle the Decidueye and Bisharp reasonably well as well. And then we're also speed creeping the um, speed creeping everything. I believe we're speed creeping up to the Jolteon as well. So that'd be good. Um, up next, we have got Spirit Vine making his debut. Spirit Vine is here, the Quaid Dilly. Uh, Giga Drain, Earth Powers, uh, Recover, and Stealth Rocks. Um, one thing that his team can really do is he's got a lot of switch initiative with this team. And I don't want him being able to get into a position where he can keep Volt Switching, U turning in and out. So Stealth Talk's going to be quite important. He's got a lot of things weak to it. Recover's just there so we can just support some bulk. Plus, we get Storm Drain. So if he tries to hit me with a Scold or something like that from the Primarina, we're going to get that Storm Drain boost right there. Uh, we're Max Special Defense. So we take on pretty much most of his team. And it's mainly that to cover the Jolteon, the Primarina, and in a way also the Salazzle. Uh, we do take that on somewhat well as well. Uh, Jetstream. Jetstream is coming back. Uh, once again, it's going to be rocking the Fly MZ. Flying MZ is too good of a bring for a uh, Tornadus Incarnate. So we are bringing it once again. Hurricane, Knockoff, Defog, and Tailwind. Tailwind's going to be quite important late game. Defog's there if we don't get our rocks up in time, but they get rocks up. So that's going to be quite uh, quite tricky. So we need to make sure we have Defog. Uh, get rid of their hazards. And we've got Knockoff as well for Switch Initiative. Plus, it does a lot to Laladio. So I've got to be careful about that. Uh, make sure we smack it. And if, if they, for whatever reason, they do bring the Duosion, which I very much doubt. But if they do, we need to get rid of that EV Light ASAP. And then Hurricane just destroys most of his team, minus the uh, Gigalith, uh, the Jolteon, and the Bisharp can eat it somewhat well as well. Uh, coming next, we have got Destiny, our Tapu Um Similar set to last week, uh, physical bulky. Uh, rather than Rocky Helmy, though, we're bringing leftovers uh, just to kind of help support and give us back some uh, some help, HP recovery. Uh, we're rocking Surf, Moonblast, Ice Beam, and Haze. Pretty offensive in terms of moveset, but defensive in terms of... Uh, sort of uh, EVs. Um, Haze is really there for things like the Ladios, the Landorus, Bioshock, the Decidueye. If they want to start setting up like Stall Stances and Calm Minds in front of me, absolutely not. We Haze, get that out of there. Most of his team is physically offensive, minus the Jolteon, Primarina, and Salazzle, and Ladios, but most of them we can eat. We can kind of handle minus the Jolteon, so we've got to be careful about that. But Haze is too important, so, and Ice Beam pretty much one shots the Lando as well, so we kind of had needed Ice Beam on you as well. And then last but not least, our main man for this battle. We have got Represent returning, but this time rocking the ground memory. Um, one thing I don't like about his team is the Jolteon. The Jolteon, to an extent, does kind of scare me a little bit. It hits very hard and it is very speedy. Uh, plus, I don't like the Landorus because that can kind of, you know, outmaneuver us a little bit. And he's also got the Salazzle, which is, hits very hard. So one thing I really wanted, I wanted another ground side that we can kind of use to benefit and get around some of his uh, some of his uh, special attackers. Um, so we're rocking pretty much max speed, um, near enough max HP. Got some decent bulk and then a little bit of attack. But the idea is is just purely just to keep parting, shutting in and out. We've got Ice Beam, which pretty much just does major damage, so about eighty percent uh, to the Lando, even though we're a negative special attack nature. Flame Charge is there, so we can get some speed investments, and then we've got multi attack as well to smack things. But it might, this thing's main counter really is for Bi Shot. Bi Shot to an extent doesn't really hit it too well, other than maybe with like. Sucker Punch, but then unless it's, it's that plus one, we eat that pretty well. So that's the team. That's the team we are going to be bringing. I uh, hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys are excited for this match. I most certainly am very excited, but I'm also very, very nervous. So fingers crossed, uh, luck can stay on our side and we can pick up another W. I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, we are all connected up with our opponent. They are selecting their team. And music, you can see the uh, the six that I'm sort of expecting my opponent to bring. Um, the pincers are maybe, I mean, they could bring something else. Um, but I feel like the pincers are a good shout. Uh, otherwise, it could be something like maybe the slazzle comes instead. Um, but otherwise, everything else, I'm pretty confident. I really don't want to see the bio shops. So fingers crossed we don't. But let's see. Do they bring the buy shop? They don't. Oh, that's so huge. I'm so happy. I tell you, now, my heart is pounding right now. It's crazy. Uh, so they actually bring the Gigalith, which leads me to believe they've actually got a sand team. In fact, they don't bring a lot of things that I expected them to bring. Uh, so let me make that quick adjustment. Uh, they do bring the Pinsum, which is interesting. Uh, they bring the Primarina. Let's say no buy Sharp, though. Um, and instead, uh, they bring uh, they bring the Gigalith, which is quite interesting. Uh, so it leads me to believe that they are trying to use sand. Um, 
how much time we got we got a minute we got time um and then i think everything else we get i think it's just that yeah so it's just the gigalith uh, that's changed uh which is interesting to know that they've got the gigalith um but i think i'm just going to stick with my lead they may actually lead with the gigalith and get the sand up straight away um i have a suspicious feeling actually that that is what they're gonna do they could lead maybe the landorus um Hmm, I don't actually, I didn't actually expect the Gigalith lead. Um, but the Gigalith lead, obviously, I mean, if it doesn't set up the uh, the terrain, uh, it, the sand, it means it's going to be sturdy. Uh, if it's sturdy, I have to switch, and then I immediately, I think I just have to go into Cradilly. Um, Cradilly does take a hit, not too well, though. So I think I'm just going to stick with my original plan when I was doing tests and mocks. Uh, and that's lead Grill Spice. Um, he, he outspeeds everything on his team, and if he if if he ends up leading the Landorus, then that leads me to believe the Landorus is scarfed. In which case, again, I will need to switch. But I feel like that's it's the it's my best way to kind of get an understanding for what his team uh, is going to be. So let's see. I'm gonna turn my music up a little bit because it's quite quiet. Um, there we go. Uh, so we lead Skywalker, which is it is indeed the Lando. Okay. Okay. So he leads the Lando, uh, which is a bit unfortunate because we do slightly get predicted there. He does have obviously have the Intimidate. Um, so, oh, this music. Um, so I do definitely feel like he's going to be scarfed, uh, and I always have a suspicious feeling he's not gonna. He's gonna most likely either click U-turn or just straight up go for an earthquake. Flare Blitz at this range does not do enough to kill, especially with now that I'm intimidated. Uh, a U-turn is I can't, I can't safely go for U-turn. Uh, so I think I do want to switch, and I think my best switch in is my type of Fini. It's my it's my physical wall. It won't take earthquakes too well, um, but then it kind of just basically baits in the Jolteon. Uh, so we've got to be careful around that. Uh, but then if he does go Jolteon, then we basically just go Manetric because uh, we still have Lightning Rod um, and a Jolteon, like a special attacking Jolteon, even with a Shadow Ball. Let me just double check calcs it shouldn't uh, if i remember correctly it doesn't do too much yeah it does about 30 percent um but it's not doing a huge chunk depends on obviously what uh, he's like life orb or something um yeah i think that's my play i think i'm just gonna hard switch and just go straight into tap uh tap of Fini. i'm not gonna overthink this i think i'm just gonna play like sort of with my gut um and just see how we get on and just see how we go uh, so let's see. So we're going to get the Misty Surge up. It's not going to do much. I'm expecting a U-turn. Um, they do just U-turn. So we could have just Flare Blitzed, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but it gives us an idea for their set. And they do basically pretty much just, like... They kind of just reveal that they are... Scoot, that's got to be the Jolteon. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so, so far, we're kind of, right now, like reading into like like every play that we've just said has come true um so it'll be interesting to see what happens here so the landorus has just revealed u turns good try and make sure i keep up to date with the moves um okay we're near enough back to full but the terrain is up now he may just go for shadow ball uh he also could go for volt switch um but i really just want to go into manetric um he like, he kind of can't safely go for, uh, like, a, a Thunderbolt whilst Manetric is yet to be Mega Evolved. So, I could just go into my Silvali, because my Silvali is kind of de designed to take this thing. Um, but we don't take HP Ices, which he may be rocking for my Garchomp. So, we have got to be careful with that, because um, we can't really handle that until we've gained a plus one, because the HP Ice hurts. So, I think I'm just going to make the hard switch into my Manetric. Uh, if he goes... If he switches into the Landorus, then... That's fine. But we're just going to go straight into my Manetric. Um, hopefully he goes for a Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. He actually goes for Synchronoise, which is absolutely incredible. Um, props to them, because that's a move that only hits... Wow, that only hits uh, if the same type as you. So that's actually insane that they've just revealed that. Wow, wow, wow. I did not expect a Synchronoise. Um, that actually, I said that did huge damage. Wow, 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 wow. Props to my opponent on that one. Definitely props. That's that's an insane 
insane bring. And, a, and a, an incredible read as well. Ah, wow, 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 skis. Like, great read on that. Um, wow, wow, wow. Okay, it kind of throws me off a little bit. I did not expect synchronize. I completely forgot it even gets synchronize. Wow, skis. That really throws me off. Because now we can sit, like, he can now just go for a shadow ball. Because he's not, he could be choiced, but I feel like he's just going to shadow ball. Wow, that throws me off. That really does throw me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, what a read. I, I should, had I thought about Synchronoise, I probably wouldn't have done that read. Because he literally just read me like a book there. That's a little bit annoying. Oh well, it's what it is. Uh, okay, so if we go Cradilly right now, we kind of just eat anything. Uh, let's just go Cradilly. Um, he may just sh Shadow Ball, uh, which is probably the safest play. Um... Because he might not even be packing Volt Switch. Um, he does go for the Thunderbolt. Um, wow, he definitely predicted a switch there, which is actually insane. He's doing very well with the reads. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to get my rocks up now. Um, he might Volt Switch, which is fine, but I just want to get my rocks up. It kind of forces the Defog. Um, he hasn't got anything in his team that can Rapid Spin, but it forces the Defog, and I need to, I need to get more information on his team. So... He hasn't shown any Life Orb or anything, uh, but he's he showed T-Bolt, which is interesting. Uh, so he's going to withdraw, so no Volt Switch. So it leads me to believe he doesn't actually have it. So I'm right thinking there. Okay, so he does go into this thing. Um, if he clicks Defog right now, he's not Scarfed, which means Manetric outspeeds, which is good to know. Okay. Uh, we're going to reveal that we're Leftovers. Do we go back up to full? Yeah, we do. Sweet. Okay, so right now, our team is not looking too good. Although we have got rocks up on his side of the field, which is good. Uh, we are in a little bit of a tricky spot. Um, I have got to be careful with how I play here. Um, so right now, we're with Cradilly. Uh, if he Earthquakes through me right now, it's going to hurt big time. I might just recover, see what he wants to do. If he sets up... Because if he goes for Defog... Let me see... Because it's going to restore half my health. Like, Earthquake will do a maximum of 50%. But it's kind of just a wasted turn. I need to... Because although I want information, it's kind of a wasted turn just clicking Recover. So I think... I don't want to just go into my network. Man, he's doing... A, he's definitely doing a good job in terms of the reads. Oh, do I just go Tapu Fini? But then that's so predictable. Um... He's going to click Defog, surely. I might just Giga Drain, actually. I'm going to Giga Drain to see what he wants to do. He's going to click Defog. Okay, so he's not Scarfed. So, I don't know if he's Life Orb. Uh, he might be Leftovers. Um, I don't know. But we're going to do... How much do we do? Oh, I haven't got the thing on him. Uh, he is Leftovers, so that's good to know. So we took him down to just below about 70%. Uh, so he's Leftovers. That's good to know. Like that's that's good to know. That's literally what I wanted to know. So that was a good turn. We gained valuable information there that he is leftovers. So he is now at about about eighty five percent. Okay, and he has shown U turn and debug. So that's good to know. It's good to know. So I might just click, get rocks up again. Um. Hmm. What's he to do? Because he could... Do I go... I could go into Tornadoes right now. And just Z-Hurricane. But then he's... It, basically, that just kind of brings in the... The Gigalith. And I can't safely click that until the Gigalith's gone. Jolteon, I'm not too worried about because it's pretty frail. Um, man. Did not expect some of his brains. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm glad no buy shot because that thing's just annoying to deal with. But the Gigalith is a little bit tricky. Uh, Tabafini has to be around, otherwise I cannot deal with that uh, Gigalith, because like, it's really my only decent handler, other than maybe, I guess, uh, Cradilly. Um, I can't safely... I think I'll just go Tabafini. Yeah. Let's just go switch into Tabafini. Let's get the... Let's just do that. He hasn't. He's not going to switch, so he's staying in. He's probably going to... He's either going to sab rocks himself, or... 
Like, what's he going to do? If he sets up rocks, I mean, that's a little bit annoying. He could be because he's uh, leftovers. Uh, he's just going to earthquake, so that's good to know. That's good. Um, that did a lot, so that took us to, down to 114. Um, which did about 36%, uh, which is about, about what I was expecting. So he is most likely, yeah, he's most likely just uh, max attack uh, jolly. Um, so I'm pretty kind of safe now just to click probably, I'm pretty safe just to click like surf or something. Because it's going to do a big damage to this thing. If he brings in the Jolteon right now, uh, it does not appreciate like a surf. Although rocks aren't on the field anymore, so I've got to be careful about that. But I mean, you could bring in Primarina, but then I kind of just can, I can kind of one on one it to an extent. So I might just click Surf and see what he wants to do. Because there's no way he stays in in case I Ice Beam and just knock him out. So he must go Primarina here. I'm going to Moonblast actually, expecting the Primarina. He probably U-turns, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm expecting the Primarina to come through. If he goes Jolteon, that's fine because it takes it takes more damage. So if anything, Jolteon's best play, best case. Um, he does go Jolteon. Wow. Okay. We're just gonna Moonblast. We're gonna get big damage. Okay. I say big damage. That would have done big damage had he actually. Wow, that did 25%. Not 25, no. 75%. He's now, that's what he is now. Is he a salt vest? Like. He might be a salt vest, actually. Yeah, that's a salt vest damage. Definitely a salt vest. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting to know. Uh, okay, so he now he is free just to look like Shadow Ball and stuff. But we cannot stay in, obviously. So I'm actually just going to switch into Cradilly. Cradilly is like a, a really good counter to this thing. Thunderbolt does nothing. Shadow Ball does nothing. HP Ice does no more than like 30%. And I can just recover that. And Synchronize is obviously just immu I'm immune to that. So he Volt Switches. Okay, so no Shadow Ball. That's good to know. So that's good to know. That's brilliant. So no Shadow Ball. So we now know that thing's entire set. Um, that's brilliant. Like, that's honestly, that's really good to know. Um, so, well, so actually, no, we don't know his entire set, actually. He's got one more move. I'm expecting Hidden Power Ice, but we don't know. Okay, so this thing comes back. Uh, how much damage did that uh, Volt Switch do? 173. So we were at full. Um, that did... Yeah, so he's yeah he's, he's just timid. So I have a feeling he's uh, he's Assault Vest. I just think he's Max, max Speed, Max uh, Special Attack, Assault Vest. I think that's his set. Uh, this is very kind of even Stevens right now because we're kind of just playing off each other. Uh, the Landorus is unfortunately back near full. He's like about 95. A little bit annoying. Um, Earthquake though still doesn't do too much. I mean, how much did we do? We did about 25%, didn't we? With um... uh, Let's see. Do I... Hmm. The problem is I can't keep switching in Destiny now, so I need to start making some reads. Um... We don't know this thing's entire move set still. Um, so I'm expecting. Oh, we know we had Defog. So I'm expecting his last move to either be Stealth Rocks or Stone Edge. Most likely Stealth Rocks. Um, but no, it's Gigliff will have Rocks. No, so he'll have Stone Edge. No, so his last move set will be Stone Edge, without a doubt. Uh, let me see. What do I want to do here? This is try a tricky one. He might just U turn. He might more likely will just use. I need to get Manetric Mega Evolved so I can start intimidating things. That is very important. We need to try and get a free switch in somewhere. Uh, I'm curious as to what his scarf. I have a feeling in Ladios is going to be a scarfer, which is very, uh, very frustrating. Um, let me see. What do I want to do? Oh, we're running out of time, so I need to make a move quick. I'm going to go into Tornadus, and this could potentially just cost me the match, but I feel like. 
Because you turn won't do a lot. If he stone edges me right now, great play. He does U turn. Whew. Thank God. <laughs> um, to be now to 128. Damn. So 82. Uh, yeah, he's just a, a, a jolly. Yeah, definitely just a uh, jolly. Uh, so he goes back into Jolteon, which will naturally outspeed. Uh, uh. Because if he synchronizes right now, oh. we know. I know he's not scarfed because he switched moves. This thing's definitely a problem, and I need to get rid of it ASAP. I think my because I have a feeling HP Ice is his last move. I really, really do. I think I need to go into Silvali Ground, and then get a. Let me see. If I get a Flame Charge up, we get us plus one speed, so we should then outspeed everything. A multi-attack guarantees not knocks this thing out. What does he bring in then? He, he probably brings in the the Lando, in which case then I'd obviously parting shot. I think that's my play. I think I'm just going to switch and go... I really want to go Manetric, predicting like a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt. I really, 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 really do. And it's kind of just obvious. Does he Volt Switch? Like, he surely Volt Switches here, but, like, Manetric's still kicking. I'm going to go into... Man uh, into I can't safely... I am going to go... Right, hang on. I'm just going to go back into Cradilly. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. I'm just going to go back into Cradilly. He handles... It handles the Jolteon every time. It handles it every time. Please tell me he's synchronized. He hit and powered iced. So now we know this thing's moveset. Uh, super effective. Yeah, HP ice. Cool. We now know this thing's entire moves set. Um, the lander just comes back every time. Because you know he can't stay in, surely. He knows he can't. Um, do you bolt switch? Yeah, you bolt switch, yeah. Okay, if we end up misplaying here, we end up misplaying and essentially we lose our Manetric, but I need to make a play and I feel like it's the right the right, right thing to do. So I'm going to predict the Volt Switch, predicting me to Stealth Rocks, and then, because he won't HP Ice again, he won't T-Bolt, Synchronize will do nothing, so he must Volt Switch or Hard Switch, one or the other. There's no way he I, HP ices again. And if he hard switches, that's fine. I'm going into Manetric. We lose... Oh, my gosh. Please tell me you Volt Switched. Please tell me that's what you clicked. Oh, ho, ho. Yo. Okay. We're back in the game, boys. We are back in the game. Okay. We're back in the game. Now, he, I don't think. The problem is, a synchronoise at this range will kill. I say we're back in the game. This thing's not near weak enough, so I can't. Mm. I don't want to trade my Manetric for this thing. That is not a fair trade. And uh, if only I had HP ground, because I don't have HP ice. I can't Volt Switch, because obviously this thing's going to have uh, Volt Absorb. He just synchronizes. Maybe I'll just hard switch back out, actually. That might be the play. Predicting to synchronize, or even the HP Ice, because will that kill? Probably. I can't keep switching. I'm losing too much damage. Lo losing far, far, far too much damage. Um... You, you won't vault. I mean, you could Thunderbolt. Do I just go... I'm going to go represent. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing too many switches. I'm so glad he doesn't have rocks up, but because I'm doing too many switches. I'm hoping he hard switched out or something. He just T-bolts. Okay. Now, a HP Ice is going to hurt like a truck. Nothing I can do about it. He now is on ground. It does about 30%, maybe more. 
But if he does that, a multi-attack's gonna one-shot. I need this thing gone. I've just clicked multi-attack. It may, it may not have been the right thing to do. He does just withdraw. He's gonna go into Lando, Princess. Oh, that's gonna be the Latios, isn't it? Oh no, it's the Primarina, okay. Uh, well, we're going to go for just a multi-attack. Um, we do about 25% and he shows the leftovers. Okay. Crikey, this is... I apologize, guys, that every single match we have had has been insanely long. I do apologize. <laughs> okay, we did about 25%. Let me see how bulky this thing is. Uh, that's about average, actually. So I have a feeling, yeah, he's max defense. Uh, and we, he is now down to about 80%. He most likely just scolds or something. Uh, I'm just going to safely go into Destiny. I lose nothing. Uh, actually, I probably sh actually, what would? Why would I do that? Idiot! I should have just parting shot. What an idiot! I didn't even think about that. It literally did not enter my mind. I would have outsped this thing, unless he's scarf, but we know he's not scarf because he's leftovers. What an idiot! Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Um, that does huge damage, and he gets a special attack drop. Jeez. Okay. Okay, he goes to about, what, 90 now? His Moonblast will do more every time, especially now that he got a special attack drop. And now that he knows my... Uh, we are in a tricky spot because he is weakening my team left, right, and center, and his team is staying pretty healthy because he keeps recovering it. He's got a he's got quite a few leftover mons, which is annoying. He's literally used four mons. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We played so well during mocks, and now I'm literally just throwing it all away. I don't know why. I really don't know why. You know, this is crazy. Okay, let me see. What can I do here? If I go down Manatan right now, we know he's leftover, so we can switch moves. Dalmanitan's stupid. I can't lose health on my Dalmanitan as well. I think I just have to go Cradilly. And then start firing off Giga Drains. We're doing too many switches. He needs to get rocks up. Once he gets rocks up, then the game's pretty much here, because I'm switching around too much, and I need to stop. I need to turn the game around. And I need to turn it around fast. Okay, 153. We get a 107. Okay, so we're at 81%. 107. Yeah. I think I just stealth rock. I need rocks up. Rocks are far too important. I'm getting them up. If Cradilly goes down, Cradilly goes down, but I need rocks. Ideally, best case scenario, Cradilly goes down, but now he's going to withdraw. Let me just go Lando. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. It's an endless circle. Okay. But the thing is, it forces a defog, which is good. So I'm not too upset. This thing's now back up to near full. In fact, it is at full. And how far are we? We go to 131, which is 84%. So, if he stone edges... No, no, wait, wrong Pokemon. God almighty. 131. Okay, 67%. Uh, we do live an Earthquake, though, every time. And I might just Giga Drain. I could recover, but I think... Uh, now nah, he switched... He, yeah, no, we're just going to Giga Drain. I need damage. He defogs. I really don't know what my best kept switch like scenario is around here. We don't do enough. If only we broke that 25% mark. He definitely has some special investment. Could he be max special defense? Yo, is that why he's got no speed? Is he max for death? Maybe adamant? No, he's got to be jolly, so we know he's that. So what's negative... Oh, I don't even know. What's negative defense? Uh, negative attack. Positive special defense. Isn't that calm? Yeah. Not negative attack. Negative special attack.
How much time I've got? 60 seconds. Calm. Careful. Okay, yeah, I feel like he's careful. Because that explains why Giga Drain is just not doing a thing. I'm going to click Stealth Rocks again. He's going to U-turn. Uh, that's going to do a really big chunk. Um, but I need Rocks up. What does he go? Primarina, maybe? Hmm, he won't go Jolteon. Panther. Is that the Pinsir? That's the Pinsir. Okay, so he's now going to try and set this thing up. That's not good, especially considering now I'm only just getting my rocks up. He's going to try and get this set thing set up and start sweeping. I cannot let this happen. Um. Okay, 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 okay. What do I do here? What do I do here? Um, I didn't, I didn't keep rocks... Um, which I probably should have. I wish I had Rock Slide. But we actually don't have Rock Slide. I traded it in for Earth Power so I could handle the Jolteon. But we haven't really benefited from that. I probably should have kept Rock Slide. Really should have. He's really banking on the fact that I don't have it. But... Because I, mean, I haven't shown his my entire moves. I've showed, what, Giga Drain? Uh, just Giga Drain and Stealth Rocks, haven't I? Okay. The Pincer's out, though. And that's that's the scary thing that matters right now. Uh, he's going to Mega Evolve, and I'm assuming just click Sword Stance. Because he, he knows for a fact I can't do anything. Like, Giga Drain does nothing. Now, if he attacks... If he goes for a return, he he won't one-shot, but he does a big old chunk of damage. There's nothing really I can safely go in. If he gets a plus two up, does Quick Attack one-shot that Manitan? No, but it'd be darn right close. If he is, if he's adamant, he will be. I really don't want to get six would we, We've done so well this league, and I'm now really throwing it away. This is kind of unfortunate. Um, maybe let's see. What do I switch into? Oh, actually, I'm gonna go destiny. I'm gonna go destiny. Uh, I got an idea. This could potentially just fall back in our. Uh, yeah, it's actually could fall just flat back up. Actually, this was might have been a terrible decision if he swords dances. This actually could be the worst decision I just made. Please tell me you did not just click swords dance. Please, for the love of God, please tell me you just clicked a like you just clicked return or something. Okay, good. Like it's not good because I really don't want. Uh, oh, that's a crit, which is interesting. Um. Wow, that was a crit. And that did nothing. What? Um... I'm really confused. Okay, well that did nothing. And I don't know why, but... Okay, well... <sighs> I kind of need to use the... I kind of need to take this opportunity and, and do something about it. Uh, do I just Moonblast? I mean, how much is Moonblast doing to this thing if it lives another hit? It's doing big damage. I'm just going to Moonblast. It hits everything. He's going to Sword Stance. I really should have clicked Haze. Um... Okay. And he's got some bulk. Oh no, that's just how much it does. Okay, he is now plus two, but that didn't do... Because we were sitting quite low. Uh, on the off chance... Right, okay, I've got to just... I'm just going to click Haze and just hope and pray for the best. That's all I can do. I just have to hope and pray for the best. Somehow I live on a slither, because he got a crit last time. He quick attacks. We might actually live this. Was that a crit? How did the crit last time not do anything then? Maybe he just hasn't got any... Oh, it might be just... Actually, do you know what? I reckon, because he went for return, I reckon he's potentially made an error in his... happiness. Um, okay. We could potentially now just get sweeped here. So return, he's not going to be clicking return. He's going to be clicking quick attack. Cradilly doesn't have rock slide, which I think is honestly going to cost us the match. Because... See, Dalmanitan comes in. 
He does live a plus two. Ah, what to do? What to do? See, Manetric, how well does he take a plus two? So we'll go down to one. And he's currently sitting at... Hang on. Make sure I've got enough time. So he's sitting at 48 HP, which is 32%. Oh, God. Oh, quick attack's going to be enough. He's literally going to just have enough. I need two Intimidates. Oh, God. Um, okay, if I go... Silvali here. Does a quick attack take me out? Uh, no, but then neither with a Flame Charge. I have to... I think Dalmanitan's my only play. I could go Tornadoes, actually. How well does Tornadoes take a hit? Oh, not very, especially now that you've taken damage. Uh, I think he's got this. There's not much I can do. I have to go Darmanitan, and I have to hope and pray I can live a quick attack. Uh, if he gets a crit, that's game. And all I can say is that I played very badly, at least on my part. Uh, I know I could have played a hell of a lot better. Um, but some, I don't know what happened this match, but I'm just going to just hope and pray for the best. He quick attacks. It shouldn't kill. We do live, but Flebliss is going to take us out. I should have rock slide. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh my god, I so should have rock slide. What a twat I am. Excuse me, guys. I am so sorry. I have just... I have played a poor... I don't know what... I, I, I cannot form an excuse. Like, there is nothing I, other than the fact I just played terribly this match. This is... I, I don't think I've ever played so badly in a league battle. My Darmanitan is gone, which is my biggest hitting mon. And all for a pincer, which is frail as hell. Okay. I'm not going to dwell on it. It is what it is. Um, he most likely goes either Lando or Jolty on him. Um, I'm trying to think how I can still win this now because his Latios is going to definitely be Scarfed. I think the only thing I can do to now win is... I don't know, actually. I really don't. My only hope, I think, is I have to get Jetstream. has to get a Tailwind up. I know, I have to get a knockoff, get rid of his item, and then... I don't see how I can win this. Yeah, he's got this game. He's got it 100%. I've played so badly. Um, so, so badly. Uh, right, hang on. Let me... We've got 30 seconds. Let me think about this. Um, right. Do we outspeed the Lando? Uh, I can't remember if we do or not. Um, yeah, we should do, because we, we think he's not... Really speed invested. I think that's my switch. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't really safely go into Minetric. Not with that Jolteon still kicking. Alright, let's do that. He does go... Uh, so I probably actually... My best bet actually probably would have been... Yeah, I probably should have gone Minetric. Uh, that really would have been a really good play, but never mind. He's going to drop an Intimidate. That's irrelevant. I'm not really that fast. I should have gone Manetric, actually. That 100% would have been my play, because even if he went Jolteon, I could have just hard switched down to this thing. Oh, uh, this is what I mean, guys. I'm losing my, I'm losing the plot. Do I just... Actually, should I just Ice Beam here? It doesn't do enough, does it? He's at 75%. The thing is, he can't one-shot me with anything. I'm going to Ice Beam. He withdraws. Goes into Princess. Oh, that's so annoying. That's like the most annoying thing that could have just happened. Can I, I would say, can I get a freeze? But in this terrain, absolutely not. So we've just revealed we had Ice Beam. Uh, he's gone back now to about 80%. And, and the train's now ended. Uh, okay, this time I am going to Parting Shot, and this time I am going to clear it into Play Dilly. I don't know why I didn't click this last time, That could have, it would have definitely mattered, but... Alright, I go to Play Dilly. The pins is gone, and the pincer wasn't even a problem before. The biggest problem, I think, really, is the Jolteon. Um, he's going to Moonblast. 
He's minus one, so hopefully this doesn't do it KO. It doesn't look like it will, which is good. He does get a special attack drop, which is annoying. Uh, and goes back to a five. Now, I might just click recover, because rocks are up, so I haven't got to worry about that. Uh, ooh, he does. Surely he just goes. Hmm, let me think about this. Because I need to get rocks up. I'm just going to click recover, predicting a switch. He does withdraw. Does he go to uh, Landorus? He goes go back to Landorus. Okay, so he's probably going to click uh, Defog here. Uh, so he takes a bit more rocks damage, which is huge. This is what I mean. Rocks is so big on his team. Uh, we're going to click recover. And the Landorus is now at about, what, 65%? Oh no, leftovers, so about 70. Yeah? Yeah. And we're pretty much back to full, which is huge. Uh, we are minus one, so I've got to bear that in mind in special attack. Um, yeah, the defogs or heat earthquakes here, or maybe U turn. But I think I go. I think I'll go Manetric. Not Manetric. Oh my gosh, absolutely not. I think I'll go just go Silvali. I mean, Earthquake's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like a truck. But I kind of need to... I need to make a play and I need to get... I need to get this and Jolteon gone. Once they're gone, I feel like I can kind of handle this team a lot better. But I can't get rid of this unless I've got Manetric in for free. Hmm. This is a very long match, and I do apologize. We're literally getting very close to the wire, and the teams are barely anywhere down. Okay, what do I want to do here? I really don't know what I want to do. I think I go Silvali. He clicks U-turn. He, he, I know he just clicks U-turn. And then he goes... I'm going to Giga Drain, see what he wants to do. He defogs. Okay. I can't not have rocks up. Um, so we're going to get Giga Drain. We're literally going to do nothing. But we do a decent amount. Was that correct? No. We just got, I think that might have just been a high roll. So he goes to about 50... Yeah, about 60%. Uh, and now I'm going to click Stealth Rocks. I need rocks up. He's going to click Earthquakes. Now he's going to do some big damage. He's going to do about 50%. Uh, oh, that's just slightly short of that. So, it leads me to believe he is not... Uh, he's not very physically offensive. Uh, which is interesting to know. So he goes now, now to, what, 65? Yeah. Now, he does more to me than I do to him. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, interesting. Now, I've just basically forced him to do another recovery. So I think I might either Giga Drain. Do I Giga Drain here? Really normally I'm minus one, but honestly, I'm not too worried about that. I think I'm just going to keep clicking to Giga Drain. I need this thing as weak as possible. He does click Defog. We're literally just going to keep trading here. Um, It's a shame that I am minus one, because if I weren't, I feel like I could potentially win this war. Uh, oh, that was a crit. Yeah, that was a crit. That was big. That definitely mattered. Um, on the off chance he gets a high roll, I have to click uh, Stealth Rocks here. Now, what does he switch into? He really doesn't switch into too much. But Diddy is honestly, like, I think definitely a really good bring on my part. Uh, I'm going to click Rocks again. He's now down to about 40%. He's going to click Earthquake. Unless he gets a crit, we guarantee live. That might have been a higher roll, but we're going to click rocks again. Because there's only other, there's only switch, safe switching, I'd say. He could go Jolteon, but then I can just earth power that. But his safest switching is really the Latios. Because if the Latios, the Latios has got to be scarfed. I just don't see what else it could be. I just need to click the Giga Drain. I need damage. He probably is going to U-turn here, though. But I need damage, and I just need to slowly get recovery. Uh, no, he's going to Earthquake. Okay, so he's actually going to try and just go for the KO. Uh, props to him. And he does just... Was that a crit? No, but he does just take me out. Okay. So, he won that one. Uh, props to him. So, he's now about 50... About 55%. Um, but now, finally, 
Jolte uh, not Jolteon, Minetri can come in. We know he's not Scarf, we know he's Leftovers, we know he outspeed, HP Ice hits him hard, and I lose nothing. We're going to Mega Evolve, and we are going to click HP Ice. If he switches into Primarina, it's fine. He's going to withdraw, okay, so he switches in Primarina. No Gigalith, okay. It's fine, I can Bolt Switch. Um, he's going to take some Rocks damage. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. So Gigalith comes out. Um, we're also going to drop an Intimidate. And no, no um, Sand, which means he was indeed the uh, Sturdy. Which is great to know. Um, but he was indeed sturdy, and he is now sitting at about just under 75%. So, that was really good damage. Uh, we actually did quite a fair bit to him, which is awesome. Um, I can't safely knock him out, so I think I just Volt Switch here. Uh, I lose nothing, so I'm going to click Volt Switch. If he switches, actually, or oh, literally just dawned on me, he could switch in. Oh, we probably could have Thunderbolt with that. Um, as I say, he could switch in Jolteon. Okay, I go represent here. Uh, I'll go back into Silvali. Yeah. Like, we pretty much kind of take this thing every time. He cooked Toxic me um, very safely now that my Feeny's gone. But honestly, not worried. We're just going to my Silvali. He does click Stealth Rocks. Okay, so now he's going to basically prevent my switching around. And he's also now going to force me if I click Defog. It means I get rid of the rocks on his side. So, a little bit of thinking now. Um, will an Ice Beam knock him out at this stage? Well, based on how much like, other damage has been doing, I feel like it might, but I can't safely do that. Uh, then again, I mean, if he does switch, what is he switching to? Primarina? It's going to take a multi-attack, and I mean, that didn't do a huge amount last time, but he did a fair chunk. Right, it's going to do about 25%. I think I just multi-attack and just take this thing out. I'm not even going to try and think about it. If he switches into Lando, he's going to click Protect. Okay, just getting a bit more initiative, I suppose. A little bit more health, I guess. Um, not quite sure what his plan is. Um, he might be... Hmm. Ooh. I have to click multi-attack. It should be enough to kill. But if he's got some serious physical bulk, actually, he might live. Yes. Nice. Well, that thing's gone. Not that it was a problem, but the fact that it's gone is really nice. So, Zavali gets another kill, which is nice. Um... Okay, and he goes back into Primarina. We are being, we are running out of switches now. So now things get really interesting, because this Primarina is honestly a problem. Um, he was pretty much just sacking off his Gigalith. Because, I mean, his Gigalith is probably his least most valuable member. Um, let me see. How do I? How can I win this? We don't have Sword Stance because we're running Ice Beam. Um, I have to Parting Shot. But the question is, do I go... Because if I go Tornado, it's like, he just clicks Moonblast. He loses nothing by just... I mean, he probably just clicks Surf or... Well, Moonblast does more damage, I suppose. Uh, let me think. Well, now that the Gigalith's gone, I can safely Z Hurricane. He could Ice Beam, actually. Yo, he's going to Ice Beam me. Because Ice Beam... Hmm, let me see. Ice Beam doesn't take me out. Okay, I... Or is he just going to get Parting Shot? We're going to take him down to a minus one. Ice Beam shouldn't do any more than 50%, but that's providing that he's not max special attack. He's, like, bulky. But that's, my, that's the switch I have to make. And then I just Z-Hurricane, and whatever comes in just basically dies. Because um, this thing will not take a Z-Hurricane. I mean... It might, unfortunately. But I doubt it. This is a really tricky match. As I say, my opponent's done very well. Uh, it's a very long one. Oh, I forgot about rocks. Oh, he surfs. That could... Mm, I don't know how much that's going to do, but it could be... Yikes. Forgot about... I did forget, honestly, about the rocks on my side. Okay, now I need to think about that. How much health is Manetra got? 48%. So he will guarantee you take a hit. 
Then the question is, is that I I cannot win, especially now that my my, uh, my dude's too low. I can't take down the Latios. I mean, I guess Savali potentially could wither it down, maybe for a Manetric, running it's not scarfed. Uh, let me see, how much health is he sitting at? Is he sitting just above 75%? He is. He is indeed sitting just above 75%, so he's at about, about 80 mark. If I Z right now, it has a chance to knock him out. And I mean a chance. I think I just have to go for it. Uh, I just have to go for it. Rocks are up. Nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do to win. I just basically got, all I can do is just hope for a better differential. Uh, oh wow, Aqua Jet. That is not enough to kill, thankfully. But wow, that was a really good prep. That's if anything though, that basically means that I get to live another turn, which is huge. But Aqua Jet. Didn't I expect Aqua Jet. It was taking so long just then. I was like, wait, did I do something wrong? Um, I'm just going to hope and pray for a knockout here. Please be enough. Yeah, baby. Sweet. All right, so the premium room has gone. Um, that's good. So now whatever comes in is definitely taking rocks damage. Out comes Scoot. Uh, makes sense. Uh, being the Jolteon. Uh, it's going to take 25%. Um, now, do I... How do I want to do this? Do I want to take rocks or do I want to outspeed? Actually, based on his team, I want to outspeed. Because his, his three Pokemon left are the three fastest things. So let me think. He knocks me out right now. I, cl I click Tailwind. I'm trying to think about this, think this thoroughly. I click Tailwind right now. Yeah? Let me think about this. Okay, so Jolteon's here. It's currently sitting at what it looks like about 70%. Okay, if I am plus one with a Tailwind, do I outspeed every time? Multi-attack, guaranteed one shot. If he switches into the Latios, which is the biggest issue now. Okay, I'm expecting it to be Scarfed. If he's Scarfed, he will outspeed me. Nothing, oh, no, will he though? Hang on, I need to just quickly check. Choice Scarf. If I've got a Tailwind up, I outspeed him. And between... It's going to be a chance. Okay, I clicked Tailwind. We're going to have a chance. This is getting very, very frisky and very close. Okay. Down goes Tornadus. Poor Tornadus. Just cannot catch a break. Um, okay. I go... I go Manetric. Uh, Manetric. I go Silvali. Man, once again, it's another really close match. These episodes are like an hour every time. I do apologize. Okay. Um, he could potentially just switch. Uh, let me think about this. Does he switch? Can I... Problem is... Well, how many turns have I got? I need to count these turns. I should have three turns from now, yeah? Three turns. He could just start switching around. Ice Beam does not do enough to kill. I have to multi-attack. He knows that. He knows I now outspeed. He could just hard switch, go into either Lando or Larios. He knows I also have Ice Beam though, so he could predict that. But if I get, if I, so if he goes Lando, I just Ice Beam. It takes that thing out every time it should. Especially considering rocks are still up. If he goes Larios, if he goes Larios, that's where things get interesting, because I should still take a hit every time. Yeah. Um,. I have to just multi-attack. I cannot let this thing... Does he kill... My right, question is, does he knock me out with an HP Ice? He doesn't. But the thing is, he could just... Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's literally a 50-50. I mean, I've got a 33% chance. Oh, what does he do? He surely switches. But then again, this thing doesn't that doesn't do anything. I'm multi-attacking. Please tell me you stayed in. No! I don't understand. I mean I do understand, but that's just annoying. Ah, bugger. Ah, intimidate. Damn. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I can ice beam. 
If he switches in... Right, okay. If he's going to switch in Jolteon now... Oh, please don't tell me if we set a DC. Oh, thank God. It took a while to load out. I was getting worried. Uh, I'm going to Ice Beam. <laughs> it hits everything. Okay, so this thing should go down. Which it does. Okay. So now I think we're down to one more turn. Wish I Ice Beamed. Oh, so close to clicking Ice Beam. I still outspeed everything. A Jolteon should still... Okay, so here comes a Latios. Now this is where things get annoyingly interesting. I outspeed... I outspeed. I don't out... Oh, the Jolteon's going to win in the game. It's literally just dawned on me. That Jolteon's going to win in the game. Because Manetric can't take it out. And Synchronoise wins it. Oh, I wish I thought about that a turn sooner. Okay, let me think about this. Now, I can't... I can't take down the Latios. Like, an Ice Beam... I mean, he can't one-shot me, if, even if he Dracos. I know this is not his Z. He has not leftovers. He's sitting at, what, about 90%. My only hope is I get a Freeze. If I get a Freeze, then the game could turn back. I just have to... I can't... I mean, have I only got one turn, yeah? Or have I got two? Yeah, one turn. I just have to Ice Beam. That's all I can do. We outspeed. I just have to like hope and pray I get like a high roll or something. Freeze, no, it's gonna recover. Wow. It goes back up to full. I mean, that's incredibly well well played there. Um, He now will start outspeeding me. Nothing I can do about that unless he's not got any speed investment, but then why on earth would you not have speed investment on this thing? I'm gonna ice beam. He's got this game, without a doubt. As I say, all I can do is just hope for a better differential. Um, it looks like that's gonna be a two-hit KO. Um, what? Did we get a special attack, uh, special attack drop? We must have just got the lowest of low rolls just then. That's insane. Okay, I need to. I need one more turn. He might just recover actually, because that he doesn't lose anything by doing that. Mm, does he psychic or recover? Psychic or recover? He psychics surely every time. Hmm. Here's a thought. Do I flame charge right now on the off chance I live a hit? Because he doesn't know what my third move is. Because if I flame charge right now, that takes me to plus one. Do I outspeed him in that? No, I won't outspeed. No, no point. I'm just going to ice beam. He does psychic. He should live. Is that crit? No, didn't need it. That's GG. Nothing else I can do. I think I played really, really badly towards the start really badly guys like there's not nothing else i can say other than just that i played shockingly bad and that was just down to me my opponent like my opponent still played very well and i don't want i don't want this to think that i'm basically saying oh, my opponent's only winning because i played badly no not at all um I, I they played incredibly well i just played very badly um and then that's the game that's the game, and that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Damn! So we're going to move to a two and two loss. Um, we pick up a two. We, I mean, they pick up a two victory. victory. So we did really well to sort of claim back some of the points. Um, you know, whereas it would have been like what well, looked like a six zero, we managed to turn into only a two zero. So we did really well in terms of getting the differential back in our favour. But mm, 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 not good. Not good. Losing that battle definitely is uh, is a shame. It is a big old shame. I apologize once again that this is a very long match. Um, I am trying, guys. Like, you know, but hey, they did well. Uh, props, props to my opponent. They did very well. They, they did, like, I think the Synchronoise Jolteon was without a doubt the biggest, just craziest play that threw me. Uh, did not expect that in the slightest, so they did very well to bring that. Um... Even though they didn't bring the Baisha, which is what I was expecting. They brought, like, Gigalith, which kind of threw me. So just 
it's it's crazy to think when just when you know you think you know a team and it throws it completely out of whack because obviously everyone plays differently and mocks are only so you know are only meant to give you an idea they're never anything like the real battle so but yeah no my opponent played very very well um definitely make sure you go check out their perspective um their link will be in the description i'm certainly going to go check that out as and when i can um but that was an incredible battle that was an incredible battle they did very well um next week we are up against the sl bane fika uh and coach hera um we are yet to win against them if i'm not mistaken um we i think we played them three times across multiple seasons and we are yet to win but that is gonna be an interesting one but we won against root so my hope is uh my hope is uh is is, is still high so fingers crossed but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you did enjoy this battle. Uh, if you do want a chance to win yourself some Crystal Palace and merch, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and let me know your thoughts on the question of the day. And you can win yourself uh, a shirt um, in, a, in a roll. You never know. You could get lucky. Uh, but thank you so much for all the love and support. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, morning, evening, and night. I am your boy, Silver Beanie, and I will catch all your beautiful people next time.